Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why semen retention, woman attraction, why they will test you when you're on retention. And it's up to you to pass the test. Because the thing is, like, women will test will test you a lot. They will test you a lot. And it really is up to you to pass the test. It's up to you to hold your ground. We have hold your ground laws. It's up to you to hold your ground. Because some, as, as crazy as this may seem, they will try to make it seem that you, you, they will always try to overlook everything that you are or everything that you're becoming. They will always try to overlook. Pe actually, people in general will always try to overlook. They will, they will never talk about the things that we're actually doing. The, they'll always talk about everything else that isn't what's going on, basically. They're, they're always just trying to put throw, throw some some smoke in the air so maybe maybe your your let's say your awards your accomplishments doesn't make them feel as bad and the thing is like when it comes down to like it it's time to st it's time to start calling out the things that you just don't like because like i had an instance where um like it, it was at it was at a desk and like this this lady was basically giving giving um she was just throwing she was just be, being very let's say irritable like she was just ver being very rude ve being very it, rude in a way like she was asking me a question and i didn't know the answer I, I had to ask the question and then she was saying things like oh you don't know you don't know oh you should know you don't know and then she asked me another question and these are things that i just didn't know at the moment and she and basically, like she was making, a, she was trying to paint a picture of what it really wasn't. She was trying to paint a picture as if some, as if it was somewhat something where I was, I wasn't like quali qualified enough to do a certain task. That wasn't the case. These, these were just questions that I had to get, uh, I had to find out the answer from. And I, I told her to wait. I told her to wait. I, I told her patiently to wait. And the thing is, like, the thing is. Once you start sensing, s smelling, sensing like BS, you the the best thing to for you to do is to call it out on the spot. To call it out because once you call it out on the spot, everyone, uh, uh, the there there's no more there's no more elephant in the room. Everybody can become, everything can go back to normal. The the prerequisite to freedom, to prerequisite to being really fulfilled with your life, is to th is to call out the BS. And just to really just not tolerate any any more BS. But the thing is, like, just that people in general are just not bold enough. They they don't like people don't like altercation. They don't they don't like going to the edge. They they, they close up when it's nothing when it's not when it's not a happy situation. And this is a big problem. The best way to earn respect as a man, the best way to become respectable is to call out the things that you don't like. As soon as it is being done, this is the best way. This is the best way. And this thing, and like, like, because the thing is, people are men, men in general are like relapsing, so it's hard for them to really hold hold that urge to want to do that. They, they they like to be passive. They don't. They think if they don't call things out, then all things will go back to normal. And this is not the case. The the more the more you let it slide, the worse the worse it's gonna get. The worst is gonna get. The worst is gonna get. So it's best for you. It's best for all of us to call the things out that you don't like, and then this will, this will get her in check. This will keep you in check, and things can move forward. You have to reward the. You have to reward the women who are have who have good behavior, and call out the women who are not treating you as such. Because there, there's a lot of traffic that that goes through this desk. At a, at at um at, at, at this building. And there's the thing is, it's just that it seems like some people treat you a lot better than other people. And like I said, it's just best to treat, to call out the BS that other people are throwing. If, if they're not acting fair, you got to call it out. If they're not being patient, call it out. If they think that you're, if, you're, they're, if, they're, if they're making you feel less than what you are, you have to call it out. 
calling it out makes you makes you free and like the thing is like like i said when you go on when you bottle up the retention and you do, it's a lot easier to do this because if you keep relapsing consistently they're not going to res- for some odd reason this is from first hand experience they're, they're just not going to respect you as much for some reason they sense something they think they can they, they think they can play around with you they think they can take you for granted they think they can and you don't deserve to be treated like that because the thing is like you 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 give guys like consistent pussy and then all of a sudden all of their ambition is out the window they they have no more urge to do anything. And they think they have cheeks at home, so they don't they don't think they have to do anything more. And this is this is some losers. This is a loser's mindset. Like if you're if you're in a relationship with a woman, you, for some reason you, you you just don't think that you you need to put any more work into your relationship. You don't you don't need a you don't need to entertain anything else. This is a big problem. The, the man who becomes comfortable becomes a loser. The man who throws out excuses, the man who's who says he's gonna do something and never does it, is a loser. There's there's a song that's correlated to to this type of person. They're they're called a scrub, a person who says they want to do, who talks this big game but never is any about any action is considered a loser. They talk about the this is this is this is the this is the blueprint of a loser. They they might they might they they might smoke a couple joints. They might hit, hit, chuck a couple beers after work, and then they they start talking their they they say they start talking their butts off about everything that they want. They start talking about yeah, eventually I'm gonna do that. Eventually I'm gonna start this business. Eventually I'm gonna do this. Eventually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this pretty soon, and then the next day they're all, they're doing the same thing. And this is a big problem. The, the this the, this this is what separates the top five percent. To the from the bottom 95 percent the top five percent actually are about their business they they consistently do things consistently they're about the action they're about the action they're always about the action they're always on the fat they're if their life is a race they're they're in a race car driving to a destination and while the other 95 percent are thinking of whether it, it works or not and bro people go 30 to 40 years at a job they do not like for for a measly paycheck complain about how their job doesn't pay enough complain about why they never get any breaks and then but they don't do anything about it and this is a big problem this is this is the bottom 95 percent the 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 fraction the the gap between the top five percent and the bottom 95 percent is a very big gap and the reason why the top five percent are the where they are is because they consistently have good habits they're retaining they're purposeful they're on a mission like like if you have the audacity to maybe be to be, be on youtube and then you scroll you, you watch you watch someone video and then you, and then you're somehow critiquing them then you're a big loser you you pretty much you have too much time on your hands no one no one asks for your opinion like you have to you have to you have to see you, you have to make it seem that you're about your business you have to consistently be doing things to increase your life you have to be doing things to increase your life you can't be worried about if if someone if someone did something um that you didn't like on a on a video that you're watching that that you decided to click the button and watch if that's not if that's the case then create your own thing and then do the things that you want 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 to be seen like it just it comes to the time where there's there's just too much there's just too much excuses going on like if you're not really about your business if you're not really doing the things that you know you have to do consistently then you're then you're gonna keep complaining about why you're not getting the breaks that you want you're gonna keep complaining about why you're not getting the woman that you want women like men who are about the action we have all these talkers but who's really about the action who's really who's really down to go consistently through the mud to get what they want who who really is down Who's really, who's really down to use their retention as a tool instead of relapsing every chance they get? Who's who's really down to conserve your seminal energy so you can get the best in life, so you can use it to go acquire the best in life, the best, the best woman, the best house, the best lifestyle? Who's really down to sacrifice for maybe three to five years? Who's really down to sacrifice their life so that so in so because of delayed gratification in the long run 
they can get the they can get the best things the, because the thing is like if you're on retention you know you no longer have the 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 fear of missing out you no longer have that you 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 already are the thing that is that is being missed out on you're becoming that person you're becoming the person who is very about his his business like you don't care you would rather be alone than be with the person you're not really excited about this is the difference uh, the other 95 percent would take anything that they can get because they don't really have lives that they're really too passionate about so they they entertain every single woman they entertain every single person they're, they're they always say yes to everything they're entertaining everything because they're they're afraid to be alone but who who in the right mind has the mindset to think that hey what if i just continue to work on my business on myself then eventually if i see someone who is worthy enough of my time i will give it to them but they they but the 95 percent the the employee mindset mindset people the nine of fires the nine of fire habits they think that being alone is bad and they have to get who they have to get anybody who they want just because just so they won't be alone i mean this is the pill that has to be swallowed this is the thing that nobody likes to talk about nobody likes to talk about any of this it makes them uncomfortable it makes them question themselves the people watch the news to distract themselves with the lack of meaning in their life nobody likes to talk about these things nobody likes to go deep into their subconscious and really find out what they're made of everybody likes to distract themselves everybody likes to be on booze every 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 night no one is deep, nobody appreciates alone time the person who appreciates a time alone is someone who can actually get somewhere because he knows that alone time is critical thinking time he knows alone time is time where he can get ahead while other other people are partying other people are doing things that won't help them in the future the per, the the advancing man is critiquing himself to get better so he can get so he can have a lot in the long run but nobody wants to talk about this everybody wants to talk about nothing everybody wants to be corny everybody likes living corny lives i mean nobody likes to talk about any of these things but this is how a majority of people live their life so i mean it's up to you to become the top five percent in your life you have to be obsessed with whatever you're doing you have to be obsessed People don't think any people people throw shade people downplay your success people think that you're not going to go anywhere it's up to you to work on yourself it's up to you to prove them wrong it's up to you to make something of yourself this is the only way <clears throat> yeah so i mean if this made sense if this didn't make sense it, it, it really up it's really up to you and like i said semen retention helps you find this perspective on life this semen retention helps you find this perspective because no one no one is going to help teach you this education public education makes you a living but self-education makes you a fortune like the video we'll see you in the next one peace